Ash is the coldest character in Apex Mobile. And if you're an aggressive player, Ash might be the best character to use in the game right now. In this video, let's talk about how to use Ash like a pro and as usual, if you subscribe to this channel, you can instantly become pro after watching this video. Let's start off with the abilities. Ash's passive ability is called Mark for Death. When you scan an enemy death box using your data knife, the living teammates will get pinged in the map. As you can see on your screen, it works like that. It's not working in the game right now. Maybe it's a bug and hopefully it will get fixed soon. But you can get an idea. In this clip, you can see me knocking this guy and finishing him and trying to scan this death box. But as I said, it's not working in the game. If I scanned his death box right here, it would have revealed both of his teammates positions and it would have been easier to deal with them. But it's not working now and maybe it will work later. Ash has a second passive ability as well. If you open the map, you can see all the death box in the map. Here you can see, if you click the death box, it will automatically ping in the game. You can see that right there. It might seem like a useless ability, but it is really useful, especially in final circles. And when you come late to the final circles, you can see the death boxes and assume enemies might be holding this position. Either you can avoid or you can use that information to rush them and kill them, take that position. It can be useful in many ways, so definitely make use of that. Next up, we have the tactical ability and it's called Orc Snare. It's a spinning snare that damages and tethers the first enemy that gets too close. It damages and tethers only one enemy, even if they are staying together. You can hold the tactical ability button to aim your Orc Snare and you can basically aim anywhere in the map. The Orc Snare is going to go on a straight line and it's going to go till it hits the place where you aimed at. If an enemy is there on that straight trajectory line, it automatically catches them, damages them and tethers them. You can use that opportunity to push them and kill them if you want. It's going to be really useful when you know the enemies are taking cover behind a wall or standing there and reviving. You can use that and break that. The snare has 4 meter radius and it catches and damages people inside that radius. It deals 20 damage to the enemies that has shields and it deals 10 damage to the enemies that doesn't have any shield. When you hit an opponent with this ability, when they try to escape, it pulls them back to the center of the dome and it lasts 3 seconds. And this is the enemy perspective. If Wraith gets hit, she can use her tactical ability and escape from this easily. Fade can also use his rewind and escape from this, but every other legend are going to get caught like this and you cannot do anything about this. As I showed, you can use the tactical ability mid-air as well, it's going to be accurate. It's like a pocket stun, you can jump and throw it anywhere, it's going to stun them and you can go finish the job. And you can also mix up the ordnance as well, especially Oxstar. You can combine Ox Nair and Oxstar, it's going to be a nightmare for the opponent team. At least one guy is going to die automatically. And if you get stuck with Ox Nair out in the open, it's a free kill. It's really useful when you push as a team and even for squad rushes. Here you can see one guy got stuck. If I used my ordnance properly, he would have been dead and we would have had easy time wiping this squad. You can get creative and use this tactical ability in many ways. Finally, the ultimate ability that's called Face Breach. Ash can use her sword to create a one-way portal to the targeted location. There you can see the blue arrow marks, which means you can create a portal to that location. When you use the ultimate ability, it's going to immediately teleport you there. And it's a one-way portal, so you cannot go back to the starting position through the same portal. That's the difference between Ash and Wraith's portal. Don't worry, your teammates can take it and your enemies can take it as well. This portal is going to last 15 seconds. In that 15 seconds, you can use the portal However much you want, it's not going to affect anything, but it's a one-way portal, so you have to go back and use it. The ability immediately creates a portal and teleports you up to 65 meters. So if you're running outside the zone or something like that, you can use this ultimate ability and escape from the ring. You cannot place a portal in the sky like this. You have to be seeing that arrow mark. As long as you can see that arrow mark, you can teleport there. You can also use this ability to climb high grounds like this. 
As long as you see the arrow mark for a bit, you can use that opportunity and teleport right there. And you can also use this ability while falling down midair. As long as you see the blue arrow marks, you can do that. That opens up a lot of opportunities for aggressive plays. Imagine you're taking a jump pad and teleporting somewhere or taking a jump tower and you can use that to teleport, land on a team and wreck them like that. And you can even jump outside the map and you can teleport inside the map like great out place like that you can do that as long as you can teleport properly seeing that blue marks and stuff like that here you can see i am immediately pushing there taking the high ground using that ability throwing that ox snare and combining that with the ordnance the ox star maybe my aim is horrible here but if i had good aim it would have been a good fight right so that's how dynamic Ash is and you can use her in many ways and she's going to be really good in Apex Legends Mobile. And here's another example of using the Ox Snare. It goes on a straight line, it tags one guy, I'm using Ordnance to slow him down or doing more damage and at the same time I'm climbing up here, knocking this guy and the last guy is above so I'm using my ultimate ability. Here I should have used my ox snare first but it's alright, I'm using the ultimate ability, gaining the advantage and killing this guy. So it's going to be really useful. And for the final part of the video, let's talk about perks you can use with Ash. The first perk is Enduring Trap. The trap is going to last longer but it can be destroyed by your enemies. It's kind of a balanced perk, you can give it a try. Deadly Momentum. Using your finisher reduces your ultimate cooldown by 30%. It's not only going to recharge your shields, it's also a free ultimate accelerant. Definitely use that, it's going to be really useful in that aggressive third party situations. Instigator's Precision. You can adjust trajectory of the Ox Snare. Ox Snare is already slow, you can definitely try using this as well. Next we have Enhanced Hunting. I wanted to try this out but the scanning death box is not working so I couldn't try it but from what I've heard this is a good perk so definitely try this as well. Max subscription that increases your reload speed for 8 seconds when you perform a finisher. This is also going to be in a third party situation when you're really aggressive. It's going to be really helpful at least for me. I'll be using that. Shadow step is another perk I'm going to be using personally. You can use your ultimate ability in 7 seconds of its first use but the distance you travel is half. This perk is really good for aggressive plays and when you're in a bad situation you can immediately get out of that and you can also use this for scouting purposes. You have to be careful about where you are going to teleport the second time. When you have that plan you can easily use this and that's it for the video hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to know anything else let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one.